Have you ever wondered why everyone says that ThinkPads are so easy to upgrade? Well, today I'm going to install an MSATA SSD inside my ThinkPad and show you how easy it is. Now, as most of you may know, the ThinkPad X220, which is the model I own, has two mini PCI Express slots. One accepts half-sized devices, and it is usually reserved to the Wi-Fi chip. But the other accepts full-size devices, and in this machine it was occupied by the Ericsson WWAN 3G and GPS module, which is basically useless today in the smartphone era, where you can have your phone to act as a mobile hotspot, and that's the device I'm going to replace with the MSATA SSD. So the first thing to do is to unscrew all of the screws marked with little keyboard and palmer symbols. Then we need to make sure that the battery is disconnected, of course, and flip the laptop. After opening up the lid, we can use a plastic prying tool, and you can even use an old credit card or a thin guitar pick, and pop it under the keyboard until it clips free and we can lift it. We need to be careful here not to break the wire, because the keyboard is still connected to the motherboard. After lifting the keyboard, with the same plastic tool, we can disconnect its wire from the motherboard. Now we can gently pry apart and lift the palm rest, again with the help of a thin plastic tool, and then disconnect the wire going from the touchpad to the motherboard. This wire is a little different from the previous one, because it has a plastic clip holding it in place, that we need to lift before we can pull the wire out. Alright, now that the palm rest has been lifted up, we can easily identify the Ericsson module, because it is the bigger one. We need to disconnect the antennas going to the module, and you may have to temporarily disconnect one of the Wi-Fi antennas too, and then put it back in place. Once the antennas are disconnected, we can just unscrew the screw holding the module down, and then lift it at an angle and pull it out. Now we can take the MSATA SSD, insert it in the slot, and screw the screw back in place. We now need to insulate the antenna's wires, just to make sure they don't touch anything, and I just used a small piece of duct tape here, because it's very durable. I also swapped my old 120GB SATA SSD with a larger mechanical hard drive, so that I can have more storage space on this little laptop, and this was actually the main goal of this upgrade. Now, we just need to put the palm rest and the keyboard back in place, and screw the bottom screws back in. And we're done! It wasn't that hard, was it? So, I wanted to take a moment to say thank you to everyone who is subscribing to my channel. And it really keeps me motivated and passionate about what I do, even if it is a small contribution I'm giving to the community. Thank you so much! And I'm really happy to see that my most viewed video, and also my most commented video, is the one about the Manjaro i3 desktop environment. And this makes me happy because I really like Linux, it has become my main OS in the last weeks. So expect more content coming about Linux, uh, the Linux desktop environment, Linux software, and Linux customization and stuff like that, because it is one of my favorite subjects. Thank you so much for joining me today, and if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe for more content and leave a like to support me. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!